turn a client's idea into a fully rendered tattoo design. Want to know how? Let me show you. Hi everybody, it's Yuan here, back with another video. If you're new here, I share knowledge on flash painting through video tutorials here on YouTube. So make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on all the goodness. This channel is all about how to paint traditional hand painted tattoo flash. And I know I've said before that I would keep it that way, but I've recently got many requests if I could show my daily design process as a tattoo artist. So today I thought I'd show you how I work when creating designs for my clients before a tattoo session. For demonstration purposes in this video, I will use a randomizer I built to replicate an actual client request. A snake and a rose on the lower arm. Let's see if we can help Bobby out. If you want to use this randomizer, visit my website at sobijocollective.com and you'll also find a link in the description below. Since we know the placement from our client's request, I start by drawing a simple shape of a forearm to have some boundaries to work within. I work on a document with the size of an A4. From experience, I know that the height of a horizontal A4 is almost always the size from arm crease down to the wrist. I want to have the rose in the center of the design and the snake crawling behind it, giving the design some length. I try to use simple shapes at this stage to replicate the idea I have in my mind. I get asked a lot if I ever use reference materials or if all my sketches are directly from my head. If I need reference materials depends heavily on the design itself. A design element that I've drawn many times, less and less reference material is required. But let's say a client wants a tattoo of a hairy dude sitting on his knees naked wearing only a sexy negligee. An actual request by the way, but I would most certainly need to reach out to Google for some help. When I feel like the flow of the design is right, I start to add a bit more details, but still very loose. You don't want to put a lot of time in an area you later need to redraw because the overall design looks off. It happens that I get requests to show my sketching process with a regular pen and pencil and not just using an iPad. I can tell you that there is no different other than speed. Take regular printing paper, some colored pencils in different colors or graphite pens if you fancy that and it'll be the same, I promise you. When the two artists walked into the digital age and believe me, it was a decade after everyone else. Some of us have used this to speed up our process and to give more value to our clients. I remember the day my friend introduced his iPad Pro to me. I was guesting at his shop down in Malmö here in Sweden. He showed me some sketches for his tattoo session later that day. I thought it was a cool gadget but told him it would be a waste of money for me who only does traditional tattoos. My friend's designs back then were more near traditional pieces with a massive amount of details so I couldn't see how I could benefit from a tool like this. A couple of years later I used this daily for all my designs. And the speed at which I can work with clients is fantastic. The brushes you see me use here in this video are a part of my brush set that you can download for free on my website at sobijocollective.com. When I feel comfortable with the rough sketch, I lower the opacity, add a new layer on top and start fine tuning the design with another color. I do this step as many times as it takes until I'm happy with the sketch.
When I feel happy with the sketch, I take a hard brush and start tracing it. I've created brushes that will replicate the size of the needles I'm currently using, so I can do a stencil of the line work and start working right away after printing it out. I could stop the process now and call it finished as I have the final line work ready to be tattooed or painted. But now is where I will show you how I present my designs to my customers. Many people who don't have the creative ability to visualize a final design will often roll their eyes when you just put a line work in front of them. Back in the days before Wacom tablets and iPads, clients only got to see the line work before a session. There was too much work spit shading and design just to help them visualize the final output. Having a fully rendered design though, including shading and colors, will help them understand what the final design would look like and you don't have to sit down and explain it all. Since I started using this method, I managed to do more tattoos looking how I want them to look because I can show beforehand how it will turn out. And I can promise you, they love it. you could use when coloring is that you put each color in a separate layer. You could then easily swap colors by putting an alpha lock on each layer. Very helpful if you're doing a color study. Thank you for watching and I hope you could find something useful out of this video. In the comments below let me know if you're using a tablet of some sort and how you're using it in your daily work. Remember to check out my Instagram at SoberJoeCollective for more tips and inspiration. Until next time.